guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial for you and my inspiration behind today's look is going to be this color here. So this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dirty Money and I just thought this was such a unique like a muted green shade. So I knew that I wanted to pop this on my lips today and then revolve a color scheme around it. So I want to do like a forest green eye look. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and check out my social media links below and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's get in with primer. So I'm taking the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer using the Sigma Curved Kabuki Brush. To act as a luminous base under my foundation, I'm taking the Mecca Cosmetica Illuminating Primer on the same brush and as you can see, that's just giving my skin a gorgeous subtle glow. I thought my under eyes were looking a little bit dark, so I took the NYX Dark Circle Conceal Corrector in Light, which is a peachy color, to color correct those purple blue tones. I'm taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, and I love this foundation, but I hardly use it because I don't have it in my fake tan shade. As you can see, it's way too light for me, but I don't want to go out and buy the same foundation just in a different shade. So what I'm going to do is take the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in G80 and mix that in to make my own custom shade. And this is a great tip for those of you who do fake tan and you're on a budget, as it means you can create your own custom shade at whatever stage of fake tanning you're at. I'm taking the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chantilly. This is my favorite. It has such amazing coverage and I'm applying this under my eyes and as you can see that really brightens the area and also down the center of my face. To set that concealer into place, I'm taking the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder in Translucent on the Morphe Y1 brush and then to set the rest of my face, I'm taking the Morphe E2. I'm contouring my face with, as always, the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Then I'm going to warm up my complexion with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Light to Medium. I'm adding a flush of colour to my cheeks with the Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose on the Morphe E4 brush. And then for highlighter, I'm taking the ColourPop Pressed Powder Face in Here Kitty Kitty. And this is such a gorgeous, intense highlighter. And I'm applying that with the Anastasia A23 brush. Now, obviously, we don't want a stripe of highlight. That isn't cute. So I'm going back in with the same blush brush we used earlier to diffuse the edges of that highlighter. I'm also taking this down the bridge of my nose and my Cupid's bow. I'm then locking in my base with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So I'm picking up the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I'm taking this gorgeous like dark turquoise color on the Morphe E27 brush and I'm running this through my crease and gradually building up the intensity. I'm now going to be picking up the ColourPop Cosmetics Single Shadow in the shade Team Player on the Sigma Blending E25 brush and I'm going to be creating a halo style look today. So I'm going to use this shade as the base for this style. So I'm going to really focus my application on my inner and outer corner and then blend between. And then going back in with the same shade we used from the BH Cosmetics palette to blend out that ColourPop shadow and build up the intensity of the look. Going back in with the same concealer we used on our face, I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush to start to carve out this halo eye. So I'm going to apply the concealer above my natural crease so that I have a more lid space to work with, yet I'm still going to follow my natural crease shape. I'm then going to go in with some makeup remover to clean the excess shadow below that concealer so that we have a clean canvas to work with. I'm going to be dipping into the Jaclyn Hill slash Morphe palette and take the shade Enchanted on the Sigma Winged Liner E06 brush and I'm going to apply this above the concealer to really create some depth and dimension into the look. Using the same Sigma Blending E25 brush we used earlier, I'm blending that shade out to ensure that there are no harsh lines. Then going back in with concealer and applying this to the empty lid space to create a really nice clean base for the next shadows that we're going to go in with. And I'm going to use my finger to diffuse the edges of the concealer to help with the blending process later on. I'm then going to be setting that with some translucent powder to ensure that the base isn't sticky and the shadows will blend nicely. 
What I'm gonna do now is work backwards. So I'm gonna take that ColourPop shadow we used earlier to create a really nice blend between the shadow and concealer. Then dipping back into the shade we used from the BH Cosmetics palette, I'm gonna be applying this next to the previous shade we used and gradually working my way towards the center of my lid. Yet I'm still gonna be leaving the very center of my lid bare. I'm just quickly applying some of the Too Faced Glitter Glue to help with the pigmentation of the next shadow that we go in with, which is the Makeup Geek Cosmetics Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade Fantasy. And this is such a gorgeous, like, forest mint green. And I'm going to be applying this to the very center of my lid. I'm going to blend out any harsh lines before going back over the whole look just to ensure that everything is nice and blended and just seamless and is looking good. <laughs> I'm then going to be repeating the same shadow step process that we did on our lid on my lower lash line. And I'm going to be lining my waterline with a black liner before going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and coating my lashes. And to add a little bit more length to my lashes, I'm taking the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. And I was really feeling my natural lashes, but if falsies is what you prefer, then you can definitely rock falsies with this look. I'm just quickly highlighting my inner corner and then we can move on to the lips. And finally going in with that Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dirty Money. This is seriously such an awesome shade and I love his formula. It's amazing. And this is the finished look. I really hope that you like it, you enjoyed this video and you learned something and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.